We're taking a quick look at Affinity Publisher with two easy trifold brochure designs. These are downloadable examples. In other words, they're AF Publisher files that you can download and simply plug in your details. One's in A4 format, the other's in US letter format, and they're both for print. Fairly pointless having a trifold brochure as a PDF file, so these are designed for print. Although you can export them from Affinity um, as PNGs or PDFs, um, un uncheck the bleed option and you've got yourself some really nice uh, PDF brochures. Now there's two easy designs here. The masters are included for download. You'll find those on both my websites. As I've mentioned previously, the UK website is slowly moving over the next year to the .com website. So you'll find it on both. All fonts used are widely available. And the images I've used are in image placeholders. And there is no mystery to them. They're simply images in a placeholder. So you can swap them out very easily. We'll start by looking at the first, mm. excuse me, we'll start by looking at the first master. And there's no need to actually build them. You can work right from the downloadable files. So the first, the first thing to do is to chase off and download the files. They're on my website, easy to find. The address is in the description below. You might like to subscribe while you're there. And what you can see there are the brochures. The left hand side and the right hand side, two step, well, back and front if you like of the sheet of paper. Exactly the same on A4 or US letter, except for the slightly different sizes of those two sheets of paper. There are two documents in the set, the A4 trifold, the US letter trifold. And as I mentioned just now, they're slightly different size pages. So the setup dimensions are slightly different. If you're using US <coughs> letter size paper, use that master. If you're using A4, then use the A4 master. The A master page shows you the fold lines you need for your brochure. They're fairly easy to follow and they will show on your brochure as you look at it. But of course they don't show on the paper, so you, you don't need to worry about that. Page 1 consists of the front cover and back plus inside fold or panel of the trifold brochure. So there are actually three panels there and you can see them. The, the um, girl facing away from you on the right hand side that is your front cover obviously and the center panel with the with the QR code on it is the rear panel and the left hand side there with the girl in the oval shape um, is the inside fold panel. Now that QR code, you can put your create your own QR code, you can create them online. So if you create a, a QR code, just put the code image in there. That QR code, if you actually follow it, will take you to my YouTube website. Showing the inside panels of the trifold brochure, edit the text as you wish. Edit the images, of course. Um, these images are from unsplash.com, so they're um, very widely available. And as I think I mentioned previously, the fonts that you will use are widely available. And you can see there's only a master and two pages, so it's really easy to follow these. Now I'm showing the document setup dimensions, and the images I've used are embedded. You don't want them linked in a document like this because it may change offices, it may change computers and you don't want to have to wander around finding them. So if you embed the images in your document, problem solved. Colours are CMYK because eventually this will be printed out. It will be sent to a print shop, not, not used digitally. I, well, I suspect you wouldn't use it digitally, although you may, but it, it will look a bit hard to hard to read because you'll be reading from right to left as we normally do in in um, in English um, and of course it's back to front in that case. 
There's a 5mm bleed on the A4 paper, which is something to pay attention to because it's slightly different on the US letter. The spread shut up showing the paper measurements for A4. Now the document size, an A4 sheet of paper is slightly different than a letter size piece of paper, US letter size paper. And there's the differences. There's the A4, there's the US letter. That's evidenced by looking at the spread setup showing the paper measurements. Margins on the A4 are slightly different to the US letter, so the A4 margins slightly different and US letter. If you're confused which one you're looking at, look at the name of the document right up in the top bar and you can see there's A4 is the previous one and this is the US letter. And those sizes are slightly different, the margin sizes. Now the inside panels. Now that we've had a look at the construction, download the master files and save them somewhere safe. You can get right to work populating the documents with your own text and graphics. Which is why I've done these the way I've done them. I'm not walking you through how to put them together and make the document and do the columns and do the lines. This is a document you can use with Affinity Publisher in your school or office. Just download the files, save them on your computer, open, open whichever paper size one that you want, put in your own details and there's your brochure. Easy as ABC. So enjoy and don't forget, save your work as, your go, as you go. You don't want to lose it. Notes on this exercise. The downloadable AF photo files and AF, well that should be AF publisher. Well there we go. It's a little mistake but never mind, you know what I'm talking about. AF publisher files are available from my website download page. And there's the address and the Wix site that I'm slowly building to replace it. It may or may not replace it, I don't know yet. And that can be found if you like at that long address or the short address robertcharmers.com. Please remember to subscribe and like my channel on YouTube. Thank you for watching.